Hello viewers, in this video we will discuss about how to handle the multipath fading using a diversity techniques. Okay, so what is a diversity? Diversity is nothing but uh, it is a simultaneous operation of two or more systems or part of the system to improve the reliability of the system or the microwave communications against multipath fading. Obviously, there are two different type of diversity techniques are there. One is space diversity and another one is the frequency diversity. Let's start with space diversity. Okay, so why we are deploying this technique? For example, site A, site B is there. Uh, there will be a direct signal from site A to site B and there will be a reflected signal from the surface of earth to the receiving antenna. So, if the direct signal and the receiving signal are in phase, then the, it will be added up. More signal power will be uh, given to the receiving antenna. But if they are in antiphase, then it will be cancelled out and uh, theoretically no signal will be received by the receiving antenna. So, in order to counteract this one only, we, we, are, we have come up with this diversity techniques. Okay, so in space diversity, what uh, what we are doing, actually there are two different antennas are there. They are con connected with the receiver and the both receivers are connected with combiners. Here, uh, here what will happen, the uh, transmitter antenna sends a signal uh, and this will be received by two different antennas. Now. So, these two different antennas at the receiver side are separated over the distance. Remember, this separation between the two antennas is a crucial factor here. Let's see that later. So, uh, once the signals are received and it will be given to the combiner, uh, based on the function of the combiner, it will take up either the best of the signal from the antennas, two different antennas, or it will sum up the signals from the two antennas and give it to the receiving circuit. Okay. So, uh, how about this uh, distance between the two uh, two different antennas at the receiving side. There is a formula to calculate it. This is called as Wigan equation. So, it is the difference between the antenna is measured in terms of meters and it is 80 divided by frequency. Uh, frequency is mentioned in gigahertz. Okay. So, normally uh, using this only uh, we are separating the antennas. Oh, uh, uh, Theoretically speaking, separation of antennas means these two antennas are in uh, position exactly in two different layers of the atmosphere. That is what we want to communicate. Now. Okay, further the reliability of the space diversity is increased by increasing the frequency, increasing the fade margin and also increasing the vertical spacing between the antenna and also obviously decreasing the path length. So, these are all the other ways to improve the reliability of the space diversity techniques. Okay, larger the separation, obviously better will be the receptions. Okay, and we have to remember one point that both space diversity and frequency diversity will not give any improvement over rain attenuation. Okay, and also there is an interesting factor. There is a limit between the antenna spacing actually. So, over a point of time, even though if you separate it beyond that break even point, there will not be any gain, significant gain at the receiving side. Okay. So, for example, uh, people have calculated for the frequency range of 7 to 18 gigahertz, uh, the antenna separation at the receiving end should not be more than 20 meters. If it is more than 20 meters also, there will not be any significant improvement in terms of reliability. Okay, let's move on to the uh, frequency diversity. Frequency diversity here, two systems are working in parallel. Actually, uh, both transmitter, uh, both uh, transmitter are transmitting simultaneously to the receiving antennas. Both transmitters are working in two different frequencies. That's a difference here from space diversity. Okay, then uh, it will be received by the receiver and given to the filter. Filter will uh, separate the two frequencies and uh, take out the signals from the respective antennas. Okay, here we are using only one antenna because uh, it, it will be combined into the uh, waveguide and given to the antenna. Okay, so uh, frequency uh, diversity is more reliable than the space diversity. But on the downside, frequency diversity is we are using two different frequencies. So, it is a bit costly. We have to pay to the regulatory 
and also it, there are some OEM issues are there. Uh, we don't know which radio went faulty, so we have to maintain two spares at each side. So that is one thing. Okay, and uh, frequency separation here. The uh, in the space diversity, we are discussing about the antenna separation. Here we are discussing about the frequency separation. So two percent is adequate, but if you are going for a five percent frequency separation, then it will be really good. Uh, good. Okay, and in both the techniques, hitless switching is performed at the uh, uh, at the receiving circuit. Actually, the while re, while recovering the baseband signals, the receiving circuit uh, compared it bit by bit. If any error bit comes, then it will uh, switch over to the alternate stream. So that is called as hitless switching. That is the method deployed in both the diversity techniques. Thank you all. Have a good day.